Hi, it's Len Cameraman from Hero Technical Solutions. I was just checking out a video that I'd recorded a while ago and was going to send it to someone and I realized that I had 140 subscribers on YouTube, which I was, I was pretty shocked about. Uh, I've been creating ACT videos on YouTube for a while, but I didn't realize that I had that many people that had subscribed. So I thought, hey, what's something I've got that I can quickly uh, offer to subscribers uh, that they'll get some more mileage out of with ACT? And so what I decided to do today is cover three tips on opportunities. Okay, so I'm going to just show you in a video um, the sales analysis report that is really useful, um, but people don't always know it's there and just what you can do with it. I want to show you the Excel pivot chart and table that's super easy to export from ACT um, to Excel and be able to get some nice uh, charts and tables out of it. You might know that you can export opportunity lists to Excel, but might have missed uh, the second and third tabs there. And then I'm going to cover dynamic groups for opportunities. I'll show you a way that you can create groups of contacts that will automatically contain contact with open opportunities. So again, thank you uh, for watching this video. If you're not one of those 140 subscribers and you'd like to continue to, uh, to see additional videos, I'd love to have you hit subscribe. And as I see those numbers go up, that'll definitely motivate me to, to uh, keep cranking out videos like this. So thanks. Here we go. Okay, tip number one is a report that often gets overlooked. When people look at the reports in ACT, they come into the reports list and they look and they try to find all the opportunity reports. So if I scroll down here to the O's, I get opportunities adjusted for profitability, opportunities by company, opportunities by contact. And I may miss one of the most useful reports on opportunities, which is this sales analysis by record manager. Okay, which is just a, a, fancy, uh, a fancy way of saying stats for my salespeople. You wanna see their close rates, this is the report to do it. So I'm gonna run it as an example. I'm gonna actually click here to add it to my favorite reports. Then I simply double click it to run. And then I'm going to choose to run this for all dates just to give me some more data because I'm using the demo database, but you could pick this for the current month. You could pick it for last month, whatever date range you want, or hit custom underneath and, and you can choose what you like. Click OK, and we'll just give this a moment. Let me go full screen here and zoom in a little so we can read this. And you'll see that you will get this broken out by sales rep. You'll see their total sales for that period, the total number of opportunities, and how many opportunities they had under each of the, uh, under each of the different statuses. Okay, so I've got open, closed one, closed lost, and inactive. If I scroll down, I see the same thing for Chris here, and this will repeat for each of my salespeople. Okay, and then also breaks out what the percentage is for that status. So I can see that about half the opportunities are open, close to 30% of them are won, 15% are lost, and then I, I get some additional statistics off to the side. If you're putting in your costs and getting margins, those will show up. Um, it'll tell you on, on average how many line items per sale, average sales amount, okay? Really useful information. I'll show you one other way to run this report um, that people like to use as well. Sometimes we, we don't care so much what the percentage is of open opportunities. I might just wanna see um, what the ratio is of one to lost. Okay, so I'm gonna close this report. I'll run it again. And this time, still gonna run this for all, but you would probably, you'd probably run this for last, uh, last month or some, some period in the past because you wanna see closed opportunities. Turn off inactive and turn off open. So now we're just measuring one lost. Click OK to run the report again. Okay, and now I'm actually getting close ratios. I can see of the 43 opportunities that are, that are closed, Okay, we're not looking at open, we're not looking at inactive. If I said just give me the closed one and closed lost, I can see that Allison closed 65%. I can see that Chris closed 82%. If I scroll down, I can see that Ernst closed 69%. Okay, so that's one report that easily, that, that gets overlooked. So let's move on to the next tip. The next tip is exporting the opportunity list and the charts and uh, the charts and pivot table that come with it. I, I won't spend a lot of time on this, but I want to show you the tabs that people miss. All right, so let's go to the opportunities. 
Again, I'm going to set this for all dates and perhaps just my, I just want my close one and lost opportunities. Okay, there's a button that will export this list to Excel. It'll take whatever fields I have here, whatever opportunities I have and export it. Okay, so that's not a huge secret. A lot of people know that it does that, but here's the thing that gets missed on this tip. I will wait for this to open up. Okay, so here's our list. All right, now we can do additional math on it. We can see the record manager. But what a lot of people don't know is that if I go to the second and third tabs, I get pivot charts and pivot tables. Okay, so if I go to the pivot chart, I actually get a graph that breaks out total sales by sales rep. And on the opportunities pivot table, I get a count of how many opportunities and the total. Okay, now keep in mind, I've selected one and lost. So if I wanted this, um, this pivot table, it might have been better to choose just closed one. Okay, and now depending on your comfort with pivot charts and tables, you can change this around and you could split it up by things other than record manager. I'm going to take that stage here, turn that on, and then remove the record manager. Okay, now I have to zoom in a little bit to see this. It's kind of small. Uh, let's go to 100%. Okay, and you can see that now instead of by user, it's it's split out by rec. Um, it's split out by sales stage. Okay, last tip for opportunities. Let me go ahead and close Excel. I can create groups in Act that will put contact in the group that meet one or more rules. Okay, it's called a dynamic group. I've covered those before. Something that gets missed there is that groups can contain rules that involve opportunities. And a simple example of that is create a group which contains any contact that has an open opportunity. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my group section and I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call this contacts with open opportunities. And then I'll go to my contacts tab to the add room of contacts. And I'm going to choose edit criteria. Okay, here's where I set up a rule for who's going to be in this group. And rather than choosing a contact field, I wanna base this on an opportunity field. And for the opportunity, I will set this to opportunity status is equal to zero. Okay, I have to know the, the numbers for this. I know that the status of zero is open. If I hit preview, I see 118 contacts. And I could add additional lines to this rule. I could add in, you know, the record manager needs to be equal to a particular user. You can make this more granular, but right now, to just keep this as a simple example, I want this to show any contact record that has one or more open opportunities. Okay, so there it is. I've got 118 contacts with open opportunities. Um, I've got a list of those contacts here. I can right click on this group, create a lookup, and anytime you add, um, you add additional opportunities to a contact, that contact will become part of this group. If the contact no longer has open opportunities, they fall out of it again. And I've, I've added the last meeting field to my contact list here so I can see this list and I can see when the last time is that I've met with anyone that has an open opportunity. What, one more kind of cool example that we can do here is we might want contact with open opportunities that we haven't met with or had a phone call with in the last two weeks. Okay, this is going to get slightly more complicated, um, but this is something where we can really take it advantage of the, the power of creating our history records in ACT. So if you're putting history in when you call someone or when you meet with them, we'll be able to use that information to drive, um, to drive a group. Okay, so I'm going to create a new group. I'll call this contacts with open ops, no contact last two weeks. Okay, and this is only going to be as good as, as our um, recording histories of, of phone calls and, and notes into ACT. Obviously, if we don't put in the notes and phone calls, the, uh, the histories rather, 
for the meetings and phone calls, um, this, this won't be accurate. But if I am putting that in, I just need to set this up one time. I'm going to edit criteria again. And it's going to be contacts who have an opportunity with a status equal to one, sorry, to zero. And then the contact last reach, that's the date of the most recent history that a phone call has gone in, a successful phone call. Um, not just an attempt, but that we've actually, we've called them. And last reach is older than 14 days. And we also have to account for the fact that we might not have made a phone call to them that we've recorded an act. So we'll say last reach is either older than 14 days or last reach doesn't contain anything. Okay, if either of those is true, then we want them in our group. And I'm going to put brackets around this part so that act reads this correctly. And there should be an or because we want the last reach to be older than 14 days or last reach doesn't contain anything. Then I'm going to put in the same thing but for meetings because okay, we want to check if we've had a meeting or a phone call to them in the last two weeks. And that's going to be the last meeting. And we're going to say older than 14 days. Click add to list. And same thing, last meeting does not contain data. If either of those is true, Put brackets around this here. Again, this has to be or here. Okay, we'll hit preview to make sure that we've got results we, we might expect. And now, just to read over this again, it says the opportunity status is equal to zero. Okay, so, so the contact has one or more open opportunities. And then we're looking at the last reach field. And that last reach field is updated whenever we put a phone call into ACT with the most recent date of the phone call. So we're saying the last reach is either older than 14 days or there's no date in it at all. And the last meeting either has to be older than 14 days or the last meeting doesn't contain a date at all. So really, we're just making sure that we've got an open opportunity and we haven't had a meeting or a phone call with them in two weeks. Okay, you can adjust these to whatever you want. You can make them 30 days. Um, whatever value makes the most sense for you. I'm, I'm using 14 just for an example. Okay, now I'll click on OK. Click on OK again. And now this group will always contain the contacts that I haven't had a phone call or meeting with in the last two weeks. You can see I've got 49 here. And to show you that this works, let's pick a contact. And I'm going to put in a phone call for Leslie. So I'm going to put in a new history. I'm going to say that I completed a call. I'll put this in as yesterday. Follow up on quote. Okay, I put in my details here. You're just putting in your history for a phone caller for the meeting, just like, like you've probably been doing already. But now we're using this um, to our advantage, not only so that we've got the history that tells us what was done, but now if we go back to the groups and I go to this group and I create a lookup. Okay, I can see now I've only got 48 contacts. As soon as I put that history in, that contact comes out of the group. And if we had someone that uh, that we had a meeting with yesterday, um, today that we put in, two weeks from now, if we haven't had any other contact with them and the opportunity is still open, they're st they'll get added to that group. Okay, so it just gives us another way to follow up. We've got our activities in ACT, we've got our opportunities. This just gives me a group that shows me the people with opportunities that I haven't reached out to in a while. Okay, so that was tip number three. I hope this is useful for you. Uh, these are just some of the things that I have realized are, are really useful um, having to do with opportunities in ACT, but often get overlooked. And by the way, thanks for watching this. Uh, my name is Len Cameron. I'm an ACT certified consultant, and if you enjoyed this video, I'd encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I had no idea actually that I had 140 subscribers on the, the channel and it's what prompted me to, to create another video. Um, so if you, you like this, um, sign up, subscribe, and then the more subscribers I have there, uh, the more likely I will be to continue to crank out this stuff. So thanks again.